Well, there it is, the beast. This is part of the show that I don't like to do very often, but sometimes you have to. I am not happy with the way the Durango is being maintained. I'll show you in a bit. Here is the problem. That is the safe area. And that is where the oil level is. We're about three quarts down. There's the ad mark and the oil mark. And again, you can't really see. Let me see. There we go. All right. Safe, ad, current level. This is not good at all. This thing burns oil, you know, like a freight train. And my brother in law knows it. He's been driving this thing, you know. I've been telling him, I've, ma I've, ma I've said this repeatedly, this needs to be maintained and checked, like, a lot. And it's not being done. This is what happened to the Oldsmobile Silhouette. Back, what was it, last year and a half ago? Maybe two years ago? I don't know. But we need oil in this thing, bad. So... I already talked to my sister-in-law. She's going to help me with this. I have not talked to my brother-in-law because I've talked to him about this in the past and it's falling on deaf ears. And this is unfortunate. But if I had not come down and not discovered this, I probably this thing probably would be the motor would probably be getting locked up. Um, in the near future. So, turn the AC off. It's actually nice out. It is 68 degrees. Man, it feels great this morning. But yeah, um, also discovered as I've been driving this thing now for a couple of days, the front left wheel bearing is making some noise. I, I hear a uh, vibration. When I get above like 25, 30 miles an hour. So again, this thing is not being maintained. And uh, you know, you lose a wheel bearing on the, on the front, then uh, yeah, the whole wheel can actually come come off. You know, disc hub, disc rotor, and everything. You know, caliper, whole you know, all that would just come apart. So. Um, yeah, I am not happy with how this is being taken care of, and of course, you know, I'm here for six weeks, so I'm just basically going to get stuff fixed. You know, I got money coming to me uh, for stuff that's owed, you know, and stuff like that, so I'm just going to get this stuff fixed, and I'm going to give them the bill. Say, so, you know, this is uh, what you owe me for repairs so um, yeah I am uh, a bit peeved you know just like I mentioned in the video of the restaurant you know, I don't care if this thing get wa gets washed I really could care less if it costs 40 pesos for uh, a wash well that can go towards a liter of oil as far as I'm concerned all I want is water oil I should have checked the water when I had the hood up. I forgot about that, but I will. But yeah, I want this thing maintained. I mean, you got to keep the fluids going, and uh, you know, otherwise, it's going to end up like the Oldsmobile Silhouette in the junkyard. Motors locked up on it. In the transmission, we already had issues with it from back on our road trip down here in 2006, where the transmission went out. I never got that on video. But, uh, yeah, getting through traffic, Monday morning traffic in Iguala. So, yeah, I'm going to try my best to get the maintenance done on this thing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this when I get up to speed. Okay, it's making it now. There's a 
rumble. It's coming from the front left. You hear that? Over my exhaust. Yeah, right there. It's like... That's the wheel bearing. So... Yeah, I'm uh, not happy. Now, I know money's tight. I understand that. But can't afford the repairs. If the engine goes, no one can afford it. I can't. They can't. So, yeah. No, don't even. No. I know my windshield's dirty. I don't want you to clean it. I need pesos for oil. <laughs> yep. Now we're moving. Yeah, I'm going to show my sister-in-law. I mean, I'm trying to do anything and everything I can right now to... You know, protect this Durango from becoming scrap. But uh, I'm going to show her how to do this. And actually, there's a mechanic right next door to their restaurant that they could ask them, you know, please check my oil. I'm sure they don't charge for that. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to think of options here. You know, this is, again, this is money that I don't need to be spending. Because I, you know, my wife needs medicine and all that stuff for her ongoing cancer treatment, but I got to keep this thing going so we have some reliable transportation, you know. Yep, Combies out and around. <sighs> Wait for the signal. Green. Good. Let's go. Taxis just taking up space. Go ahead, old man. Yeah, so it sounds like we're going to be making a stop to the RC California right here on the corner. Uh, I don't know if we're going to walk or drive or whatever, but I just want to get three liters of oil and get it in this thing. El Loco de Tuxpan. It's written in dirt on that blazer in front. Yep, there's the RC California. So that's, I guess, maybe we're going to walk. I don't know. Maybe drive. We'll find out. But that's where we're going to get our oil from here in a bit. But I want to get with my sister-in-law first to find out what we're going to do. If I'm going to pay for it or if she does, if she has money or, yeah. One way or another. Pemex across the street is too expensive. I still hear that rumble. That's not good. So, oh, and the restaurant's not even open yet. Wow, this is great. Yeah, see, this mechanic shop right next door, and they sell Quaker State oil. I don't know what their prices are, but I'm sure it's a little bit pricier than RC California. The bigger places have the cheaper oil, but I don't know. Again, I was waiting on the sister-in-law to show up. She said she'd be here at 9, and it's after 9, but I don't know. I'll wait for a little bit longer before I decide to maybe just take off. Who knows? I'm going to check the water. Might as well. Low as well. I swear. Always something. I need water. I need oil. Need wheel bearings. I might as well check the fuse to see if maybe that's why the stereo doesn't work. It's got all these small fuses in it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Engine. assistant that's here waiting for sister-in-law to come. <sighs> I'll have to search for the fuse for the radio. Yeah, I need a special tool to get those fuses out and nothing's displayed for the radio so 
maybe another fuse panel inside, but I'm not concerned about that. I just need to get some water and oil. Ah, whenever she shows up, I'll we'll just pop that back on there. All right, now we're open. Let's get some oil. See what the price is next door. Uh, lots of brakes, clutches. Yeah, whatever the cheapest stuff is, 10W30. Buenos días. Este aceite para el motor, ¿en cuánto tiene el litro? ¿De qué tipo de multigrado? Diez W30. Tres. There's trace litros, the, the cheap, I say that, uh -huh. the cheap oil. El más barato, dice. No, es para el motor del más grueso, dice. ¿El más grueso? ¿Cuál es el motor? Pues, uh, del 50. ¿Me lo puede mostrar? Sí. Sequenta, what, 50 pesos? No. The... Oh, the weight, the, the oil, viscosity. We say viscosity. Okay. I just need whatever the cheapest price of oil. Maybe one of those big bottles. Pero... ¿Qué carro es? La camioneta, la dura. No sé de cuál le pongo. Estos dos. Multigrado y monogrado. Son del 50, los dos. Ajá. ¿Y cuánto cuesta cada uno? Salen 75. 75 each one. 75 pesos? Ajá. What's the, what about for the big bottle? Is that the right? Yeah, it's, mo, it's motor oil. Motor oil. Yes, yeah, so I look for the, the weight, the SAE 50. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, this one this one is the same one. Same. Yeah, it's the yeah, it's SAE 50 as well. Um, what about the, igual? Sí, igual, 75 is What about the big bottle, like the, a, a big bottle? Grande? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Because we need three. Uh -huh. four, four That's four liters. liters? It might take it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get a big bottle if it's cheaper. I got like a hundred. Okay. Yeah, I have, is we going to drive or walk? Sí. Oh, we walk. We walk, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's expensive. So, we'll see it. See what the price is. Three hundred. Three hundred. Oh, wow. That's okay. Muy bien. Okay. Ahorita vemos. Sí. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. All right. We're driving. Going to RC California. Yeah. I want to get one of those big bottles actually because this thing goes through some oil and it's going to take most of that bottle anyway. Uh, preventative maintenance day on the Durango. Oh wow. To the house. Okay. I'm tired. I wake up early and Much. go to the bed late. Wow. Yeah, this way. Oh, that's okay. I just I was up at like seven this morning anyway. I, when the sun's up, I'm up. I was up working on videos, so <laughs> yeah. But I figured this is the next project. I've got to get I gotta make sure this thing keeps running. So, yeah, need. Let's go. All right. I need to make sure this thing has plenty of oil. Yeah, I'll, I'll get one of those big, big bottles, the four, cuatro litros. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it might take Recientos. most of it. Yeah, I'd rather just go ahead and get a big, big bottle, fill this thing up. What? signal I guess. But if there's nobody then I'm just gonna probably just roll on through anybody. Huh? You had license? Nope. I'll just Entonces, ¿por qué te pasas? Uh, yo no sé. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's do this. de botella. Uh -huh. Cuatro litros. Cuatro litros. Sí, de más. ¿Cómo está? Del 
¿Qué medida más gruesa quieres? ¿O quieres un multigrado? Pues, a ver, denme precio de los dos. Eh, multigrado alto kilometraje, que sería este 25 de 60, está en 96 pesos el litro. 96 pesos el litro. ¿El más barato cuál es? El más barato Porque está... Porque le voy a hacer el cambio de aceite apenas. Eh, 43 pesos el litro. 43. Es de amor chip. ¿Y de 4 litros? La garrafa es por 5. Ah, de 5. 5, la molesta. Ajá. Este... ¿Esa es cuánto? 5 litros. Sí, vamos a hacer una botella de 5 litros. Si podemos conseguirlo por cheap. ¿Cuánto es por ti? ¿Cuánto es por ti? Sí, es como 43. 43. Sí. ¿La de cada una de aquí? ¿La económica? La garrafa de 5. Two, two fifty okay, pesos. Okay. I got you one twenty. Yeah. It's five, five liters. Yeah, we'll get that if we can, if we can do it. I got. Uh -huh. See, I got one thirty. Do you have any more change or? Uh, I spent. I put twenty. <laughs> I don't think it's enough. Is that enough even for three? Nah. A ver, a ver, a ver. Entonces, si llevo. Sale más barato el de 5, ¿verdad? Ah, por garrafa. Deme, deme la garrafa. Ajá. Sería de esta. Más de esta. ¿Es ok? Sí, that's fine. Porque el castro lo tiene 4.55. Ah, no. Yeah, that's fine. Because it burns so much oil, we just get the cheap stuff and it burns right out the exhaust. So we spend as little as possible. Sí. It's 5 liters to 250. 250? Okay. So minus 130. 135 here I got more change. Now I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> Me. That's it. No mouse. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have five six, eight pesos left to my name. Okay. Give me five. Five. Cinco. Five, okay. 205 dice, ¿verdad? 215. Ah, 15. Ah, mira. Ahora tengo 3 pesos en mi nombre. Allá en la copa le cobra y allá la entrega. Ok. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Sí, hasta luego. Gracias. Welcome to the RC California. Ay, ay, ay. Different process here. Aquí, acá. Ah, el cashier, ok. Muy bien. Bueno, eso es fácil. Gotta put water in the radiator too, I'll do that at your, at your restaurant. There we go, five liters, perfecto. Muy bien. Okay, muchas gracias. You want that too? Yeah, I'll do it. Do we'll it? take it to the restaurant and I'll, I'll put it in. Yeah, I'll do this. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Okay. All right. The Adventures in Iguala. Let me put this in the back seat. Whatever. Vente, vente, vente pesos. The pinchy flojo tigre. Okay. Yeah, I'll put the oil in at the restaurant because I know you got stuff to do and I'll, I'll take care of this and add water. So, actually, can I go that way? Tit. Is there a van blocking me? Tit. Oh, I can't go down there. Look this here. Okay, just back. Back up. Sale, sale, sale. Todo, todo, todo. Todo, Richard. Okay. Todo, 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 todo. Perfecto. Excelente. Poliso, Pedro. Oh, really? Oops. Perdón. You're going to get me arrested. Get locked up abroad. Gracias, Carmen. Ha, 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 ha.
Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that'll be a good video. Your license. Yeah, I'll be like, uh, no, no comprende licencia. <laughs> no nada. Ven aquí, gringo. Show me the jail. Yeah. Perfecto. Yeah, that'll be a good video from behind bars. No, gracias. Okay, now I got the green. Yeah, I just saw the signal, so. Alright. The adventures in Iguala. <laughs> I miss this fun. <laughs> uh, so you had to drop Melly off in school, that's why you're running late? No. I give her candies. Oh. Because she's such a sweet and goddaughter. The K. <laughs> Are you going to get her fat? She has all those sweets. Either that or lose all her teeth from No, that's cavities. for her friend. Oh, that's right. For the, So her friend's going to get fat and <laughs> lose her teeth. Okay, well, that's good. Muy bien. Perfecto. All right, so now we're here. Okay. Muy bien. Hey, I can do the rest right here. Okay. Okay. probably most of that big bottle in here so let me get situated after I get splashed with water that's good blowing the dust down no just watching watching her work <laughs> hey I'll go ahead and put the oil in I'll probably get some water put in the radiator preventative maintenance day for the Durango <laughs> there we go Alright, try to do this with one hand. I don't know. Uh oh. Federalis. Okay. Pop that out of there. That'll work. And now, let's see if I can do this. Dirty motor. Watching oil get poured into a motor. Play well. I'm going to check it there. That's about half, half the bottle. So let's we'll see where we're at. Hold on. Nope, we are still down one quart. Good there. Let's see where we're at now. Oh, you're still down. Man. It might take this whole damn bottle. That's five liters. Alright, see where we're at now. Perfect. We're right in the safe mode. Yep, that took about four, four liters. There's actually probably four and a half. There's less than a liter in here. Four and a half liters. Unbelievable. Well, we got plenty of oil now, so that's good. <laughs> the casualty averted. Yeah, it's kind of dark, but there's a big barrel of water. So I'll just grab a bucket and we'll dump it in the radiator. Mexican style. Uh, ah, yeah. que bonito. Yeah, necesito agua. Alright. Preventative maintenance day. Okay, oh, how can I do this one hand? Let's see. Oh, making a mess. Uh, 
That's about a gallon. There we go. Good enough. in the front a little bit. Now we got plenty of water, plenty of oil. That's all she wrote. Good. I'm gonna fire it up, see how it smokes. <laughs> all right, let's fire it up. I don't see any smoke coming out the back. Wow, what happened to the pipe? Holy crap. <laughs> that sounds good. I know the chrome tip is screwed up now. Man. Unbelievable. Well, I guess I'm just going to wrap this video up. The preventative maintenance is done for now. Got a little bit of oil left I'll dump in throughout the time I'm here, I guess. So, until next time. Adios.